Hey guys, and welcome to 12 Pans of Christmas. So I, I did this with a whole bunch of other YouTubers and Instagrammers here on YouTube last year, and we are doing it all again this year and adding a bunch of new people. So I'll try and link the playlist down below and everyone's channels, things like that. But it is a whole bunch of people. If you guys are interested in doing this project pan as well, then you guys are definitely welcome to join. I am in my Christmas sweater. It is November 1st. I'm filming this a little early. But this is my Christmas sweater with my little jiggly eyeballs. It is the day after Halloween, November 1st. So basically, it is Christmas time. I know you guys all think it's Christmas time after Thanksgiving, but here in my house, it is basically Christmas time now even though it's not even Halloween. Yesterday I was singing Jingle Bell Rock and something else in like the bathroom getting ready for her bed. And I'm definitely a huge Christmas fan. So what we did this year is we compiled a list of our favorite movies and then um, we kind of used them as inspiration for beauty products that we would like to use, hit pan on, things like that, whatever, in the next two months. So we kind of compiled a list of 11 items and then 12 is kind of our freebie item. So I have the videos down here, kind of why I picked the items and my items already pulled out. So let's get into this introduction to share with you guys what items I am going to work on the next two months. And let's just get started. So the first movie is The Holiday. And this um, is kind of a movie, Christmas movie, that kind of two ladies are switching place. One lives in the United K Kingdom and one lives in the United States. So for me, what I drew inspiration was I went to London for the first time this year, which is in the United Kingdom. And I have never been out of the country before. That was the first time. So for me, this inspiration was what did I take with me on that trip that I want to use up? That is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Peach. So I have marked where I am at currently with this product. It's an okay product. I like it alright. I definitely have to pair it with like my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, but this is definitely just a color correcting concealer for me. But yeah, this is definitely something I'm going to work on. And I brought with me to the United Kingdom just like the girl went to the United Kingdom for her holiday visit. So that is the first item. The next item is the movie Elf. And if you guys have not seen the movie Elf, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you need to see it. The biggest thing that I remember is right when he comes to New York and he like does all these really funny cool things around in the movie, but he finds the world's best coffee. Let me see if I can show you guys a clip real quick. Sunshine and ravioli. Macaroni! If you want a thing you love. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. So like I said, he found the world's best coffee. So I am panning my Lorac Pro palette like you guys know this year. And spoiler alert, you'll see what it looks like right now. But the shade I want to use up is the shade right here called Espresso, which basically is a coffee. So that is my goal to try and use up Espresso. Um, I'm so close to using this palette up and we are to like the final two months of this year so using up espresso is definitely my goal for this challenge then in the nightmare before christmas the main character his name is jack and he is the pumpkin king of halloween town so i looked at my collection anything that had pumpkin pumpkin anything to do with it and really couldn't find anything so i actually have a pumpkin spice moisturizing body wash this is from ulta beauty haven't opened yet so it's brand new but i figured i can use this the next two months and use it as my body wash and it is the pumpkin spice for the pumpkin king of halloween town so that is definitely a good little fit tie in with that movie the next one is the santa claus and i loved that movie love tim allen um and there's like santa claus one two and three but the main one we have is santa claus so i just kind of went in my collection and just typed santa because you guys know i now have a totally updated spreadsheet with all of the items in it including like separate individual shadows in this spreadsheet it is really intense now but you know what 
I am now organized. My husband was like, why are you doing that? And I was like, because I just want to know what's in my collection. So I found a blush in here. It's called Santa Baby. And it is right here. So blushes are a big deal to use up. So I'm going to see if I can hit pan on this. This is from their holiday collection. I think last year, um, Too Faced holiday collection doesn't really have the peppermint scent anymore. I don't think last year it really did either, but I definitely want to see if I can hit paint on this blush. So that is for Santa Claus. Then I have the movie The Grinch. And if you guys haven't seen The Grinch, it's The Grinch. So I'm thinking something green and more specifically something I can put on my face that's green. So this is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Cucumber Gel Mask Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator and it is a green gel mask. I thought that would be perfect for the Grinch. I like try to like look up Mean and there was an eyeshadow I had called Mean. Um, I think it's from Urban Decay if you guys are interested. But yes, I have been like trying to use this this whole year and I keep putting it off. So maybe this project will make me use it so I can have a green face like the Grinch. We'll see. Then I have the movie Home Alone. So I picked a nail polish. Um, I've never painted a nail polish before. We'll see how this goes. This is pretty much up there too. This is in the shade under 18 because Home Alone really is, he's under 18. Well, he's under like 11. And, um, but really no one says that they're Home Alone like that again once you're over the age of 18. So I thought this would be a gorgeous red nail polish to use over the holiday season and be under 18 and home alone. I also was thinking like a face mask that burns because you know when he goes like, ah, but I didn't want to do that. So I just picked a nail polish. And then I have from A Christmas Carol. They have the three ghosts that visit them. I think that's the movie. I didn't Google that one, but I assume it's with the Ghost of Christmas present, past, and future. So I have my Verb Ghost Oil, and that is where I'm at on that. I was trying to use this up earlier, and then I was I put it away, and I was like, no, I don't want to use it up. I want to just use it whenever. And then I really haven't been using it. So I have the Verb Ghost Oil, so we'll see how I do on that. Then is the Muppets Christmas, and it's similar to the Christmas Carol story with the Ghosts of the Present, Past, and Future. So I have this from Burberry. This is a Christmas present from the past. It also kind of looks like a Christmas present, and I am currently at that black line right there. So I use this kind of as a foundation primer or just kind of like illuminator underneath my foundation. So that is for that product. Then I have Christmas with the Cranks and this is a hilarious Tim Allen movie too. The scene that I thought of was the honey ham scene. I will show you guys a quick clip of that right here. I am looking for a ham, a hickory honey ham. If there are any left, they'll be back there. <laughs> So for honey ham, I decided to pull out my Clinique Black Honey um, lipstick because it has the name honey in it for honey ham and that is where I'm at on that. I didn't want to pull like a super like pigmented, super colorful lipstick just because I know I won't wear it on an everyday basis, but this is definitely something that I can hopefully use over the holiday season and get some good use out of it. Then the next movie is Christmas Vacation. So I picked out, oh my gosh, let me show you guys the scene real quick. It is um, the famous cat being electrocuted scene. So I know, kind of morbid, but for that I picked out the shade Burnout in my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I haven't really used this palette honestly this year, but Burnout is this shade right here, and we'll see if I can hit paint on it. Who knows, I'm gonna try. This is kind of my next palette that I'm debating on either keeping or painting that palette next year. 
I don't know what I want to do yet, so me concentrating on burnout might make me use the rest of the shades too the next two months, so we'll see how that goes. And then White Christmas. Famous, famous movie. I love that movie so much. White Christmas makes me think of snow, so I picked out the shade from Sephora. This is the color Let It Snow, and I want to hit pan on this. And I kind of use this as an all-over base or a um, brow bone shade, so that's that one. And then the last one is a freebie, so for me, I wanted to try and again do kind of one of the oldest items in my collection. I'm trying to work my way down kind of like that. And it made me think of a song because it is in my Lorac Pro palette. Um, it is the shade Sable. So it looks like that. It's the other brown shade in this palette. And if you guys don't know what Sable has to do with Christmas, um, it's from the song Saint's Baby. And it's uh, she says, um, slip a sable under my tree for me. Been an awful good girl. So I did sable right there. And sable, I looked, is a brown mink. Don't know why she would want that under her tree. But it goes with the Christmas theme. And it's something that I want to use up and finish. I basically want to use up and finish this whole palette. But I'm not going to put the whole palette in here because that's pain that palette. But... Wanted to kind of still have some stuff that I'm legit working on. So those are the 12 items that I am going to be working on on the 12 Pants of Christmas movie edition. And if you guys are interested again in joining, I will leave the playlist down below again for you guys who are interested in more Project Panners doing this challenge. It is definitely a fun challenge for all of us to get together and be in the Christmas spirit. So I do plan on doing an update on December 1st and then I am ending the challenge December 31st. So be sure to look out for my updates. This is such a fun challenge. I'm excited to play with these items and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!